Hi, today I'll be walking you through how to add a logo to your Squarespace website. If you started your website in mid-January 2020 or later, you are most likely on Squarespace 7.1, which means that when you log into your Squarespace website, the top will look something like this. Before that date, you could be on 7.1 or on Squarespace 7.0 which looks like this when you're logged in. So a little bit of difference there. Um, obviously the template could be different here in 7.0. When I roll over, you see I get these black boxes with edit and settings. And on 7.1, I don't get that. I see the edit here on the left. So if you are confused about which version you are in, if you click help, it will tell you right here, Squarespace version 7.1 or Squarespace version 7.0, and you can see that I am using a Brian family template called Sophia. So let's go back to home on both of these. First, I'm gonna show you how to add your logo to Squarespace 7.1. You'll start doing that by clicking edit in the top left of your template, and then roll over this site header area and click edit site header. From here, we'll navigate to site title and logo. You can see I've already named my site by giving it a title. And here I'll click to upload my site logo. I've created a transparent PNG file for us to use here. And once this is loaded, it will give me the option of changing the logo height. It's at 50 pixels right now and the width automatically adjusts. I actually think I want this a little bit smaller. I'm gonna go for 40 pixels. And then we can look at it in mobile preview mode to see what it looks like there. I think that the default 35 pixels works well, so I will leave that as is. Otherwise, you could adjust that by going back into edit site header, site title, and logo, and changing the mobile logo max height until it's a height that you like. Finally, when you're done and you're happy with the size of your logo, go ahead and click Save. And that is how you add a logo to Squarespace 7.1. In Squarespace 7.0, the steps are a little different. So here in my Squarespace 7.0 site, I'll go to the design menu and then to logo and title. Here under logo image, I'll click to add my logo. I'm gonna again use that same transparent PNG file from my computer. And if you get an error, just try refreshing and let's try that again. So again, logo and title, add a logo and open. There we go. And you'll see it replace my site title here in just a moment. And for adjusting the size of the logo in 7.0, we actually have to go, uh, let me click save, it's loaded. Great, this is a little small on this template. So to adjust, this, to adjust the size, I can't do it here in the logo menu. I need to go back to my design menu and choose site styles. So here are all the site styles that are um, possible for me to adjust on this particular page. But what you can do to narrow down your choices is you can actually click the item that you're interested in and it will pull up just the site tweaks relevant for that item. So here, I will adjust logo width. And you'll notice that it is different. We're adjusting width here and not height as we did in 7.1, so that has changed. In 7.0, if I want to adjust my logo, I do it by width and I'll drag this to make it larger. I can go all the way to 320 pixels. I think that's a little too big, so I'm gonna back it up to about 200 and then click Save. Now here we can actually um, go into mobile view and do the same thing in site styles for our mobile view. So let me click down, mobile view, and then back at site styles, I just wanna click show all. Now if I click on the branding here, this is a bug in 7.0. It doesn't show me the branding size, but if I click show all and then move down until I start getting in my mobile branding, you can see logo width is here and it's currently set for 80. So I'm going to make that larger. Let's go for about 100 pixels and click save. That looks a little tiny to me still, so I'm gonna make it 120. And here you can also adjust the location of that and the location of the menu. 
and play around with those styles. But that looks good, so I will click Save. And that is how you adjust your logo size after adding it on 7.0. So again, two different processes for Squarespace 7.1 and Squarespace 7.0. Um, I hope one of those works for you.